systems are similar but not identical. Both are subsets of a bigger list. How, then, would we harmonize these lists? Here's one solution. The easiest approach is to use an authoritative external standard for the domain, if one exists. In this example, that standard is ISO 3166-1. This eliminates the burden of defining the standard list. Keep in mind that mergers and expiration are okay, but deletions are not possible once a standard list is defined especially in the context of business intelligence, since historic data already exists. Now let's take the same example and try to make it closer to reality. In one system, we will add a historic country, Burma, and the other system, an adjustment country. If looking at this adjustment country provides you a bemused smile, or, or thinking about something even worse, such as an unknown country, well, welcome to the world of data harmonization. The solution for the historic country issue is a domain merge. Get the historic country list and merge it with the current standard from the authoritative external source. We have extended the structure to include merged. You'll note the ISO standard has merged Burma into a new code, Myanmar. So we've handled the Burma issue. Standard domains have to be designed by utilizing slowly changing or with effective expiration dates, even if you think they will never change. Also, be prepared to make an accommodation for merges and splits over time. So that raises the question of what to do with the adjustment country. Should it be included in the gold copy? or not. And as far as the adjustment country is concerned, as you know, it's not really a country, and you don't want to send it out to subscribing systems. But at the same time, it is relevant from a reporting or BI perspective. The master list for BI then should always be a superset, even though the norm is not to put dirty data in there, the gold list. We have now taken care of the adjustment country by adding other or adjustment to the harmonized list. But now the issue is that it is no longer the gold standard we want to follow for the organization. Oops, here's where it is imperative that we expose views for specific usage. So the same domain appears differently based on usage context. In this particular example, we may need to create three different business usage views based on need, current, active, standard, and all. The superset concept is not unique, and I'm sure at least 90% of you on this call use the currency master from ISO. Some of the sample currencies are listed here. Here's something you may not know. The US dollar same day and the US dollar next day are valid currencies. Or that gold, silver, and other tradable metals are also currencies. We touched on domain splits earlier. It is not as straightforward as merges, but nevertheless needs to be accommodated. Supersedes is the best way to track splits. In this example, and a real example, where Serbia and Montenegro were split. A lot of country history here. We wanted to take an example that most of us can relate to and as an example to illustrate superset, splits, merges, and usage context. These are basic techniques that should be used on any atomic entity for creation and ongoing change management. It's important to note that external standards bodies sometimes face the same challenge. So we've seen the currency example before and the country example here. Take a look at Hong Kong, which has not been a country for five years, but is still in the ISO 3166 list. It has been retained since deleting it would have a huge impact. Essentially, they maintain a superset. 
the state standard list ISO 3166-2 does not have any subdivisions for Hong Kong, even though the geographic entity does have provinces. We'll take the country example one step further into a consumer branding structure as depicted here. Cool Cappuccino is an established brand and is clearly segregated. The company just introduced Cool Latte to the market, but put it under Coffee Other. <clears throat> Excuse me. As the brand evolves, company executives decide they want to see the numbers for Cool Latte Vanilla separated out. Additionally, the diet version of Cool Cappuccino needs to be tracked as well. So now the question is, where are the donuts? No, uh, the, the question is, do we create a fourth level for cappuccino? What do we do with the existing product data that is tagged with Cool Latte? Do we retag all the products? You see that even though the problem is one of splits and merges, as in the previous problem illustration, the approach we recommend, which we will go into later, is very different. This is because here, brand, sub-brand is a true hierarchy made up of different levels, whereas country was an atomic reference element. Okay, we'll get to the solution for the earlier problem in a minute. Before that, let's look at the next problem illustration. For this example, we return to atomic reference elements, and we can immediately see that there is no external standard. We have two flavor lists, similar but not identical. We'll assume the values mean what they indicate, because if they didn't, we'd have a completely different set of problems. Reporting requirements drive harmonization. Here there are two options. Firstly, where the business, as opposed to IT, defines what they need, define the ideal domain, and then that is propagated down into a data category accordingly. An alternate approach is to try to take an easier path and reach for the low-hanging fruit which is to say we extrapolate the least common denominator from existing domains. In this example, the least common denominator is at a reasonable level, assuming it is good enough from a reporting perspective. This is low-hanging fruit, and there is no impact to the existing systems or relationships. We are adding a level of mapping over and above